they say that if you can invent a better mousetrap, the world will be to pass to your door. The inventor of this tried, but I've never heard of it since. It's actually a very old German one, so I guess it wasn't as effective as the modern one. On the other hand, it's much more interesting. It's the most ingenious device, mainly because any mouse that enters it actually gets caught while setting it up for the next mouse to follow. Sounds involved? It is. Have a look. First of all, you have to bout, bait a mouse trap. Um, and that's done in this case by lifting up the little sliding doors. There's one on each side. And by lifting it up, you could actually get your German bread or your German sausage or cheese or whatever you like, shove it in there, drop the door down again. I have to hold the bread in while I'm doing that. But uh, that had a couple of advantages. Firstly, you had it um, trapped there if you didn't put the door down on it. And the mouse couldn't get at it, so he couldn't actually eat it. So your um, stinky sausage or whatever you like stayed in there acting as a bait for the mouse. Then you had to set the trap, and all you had to do was to lift this. And you notice a door rises, a little trap door drops down there, and the door rests upon that uh, flange. All is ready. Then, if you're lucky, along comes your mouse. And he goes into that hole, and uh, he keeps going, looking for the bread, which he can't actually eat, until in the end, he reaches the end of the mouse trap uh, um, platform, and his weight makes it go down. And when it goes down, so does the flange, and the door shuts on him. So he's caught. He can't eat the bread. That stays there for the next mouse. But after a while, he gets bored. So uh, what does a bored mouse do? He can't go back. The door's shut. He starts to climb. And here's the next uh, interesting part of this. He climbs up this chimney, which is beautifully made for little mousy feet to get a grip on. And he climbs and he climbs until he finds this little hinged part. Well, that's no barrier. He goes past it, flattening it against the wall, until he's up at the top here, where my finger is, when the door suddenly shuts behind him. And he's trapped. He can't go down, and he's pointing up there. Well, to show you what happens then, I have to take the lid off, because you can see, once he's up at the top, the only place to go is through there, through the hole. And he hits, behold, yet another trapdoor, or a little uh, sliding ramp. And he wanders around on that until his weight at the back of it makes it go down and cock the lever. So if I put that together again, put the roof on there, we'll pick the story up with the mouse at the top there. There he is, pops through the hole, wanders around on that little sloping plate, suddenly, ka and he's dropped down into the reservoir there, and you'll notice that the door is uh, lifted up, ready for the next mouse to go in, which he does, and gets caught. Well, at the end of it, what do you have? You have a box full of mice, all happily wandering around in there. You disconnect the thing, take that box away, keep them as pets, or dispose of them in any way you see fit.